Too many police officers end up sacrificing their happiness for a job they dislike or hate. They literally become a slave to their salary, waiting for the next payday to come, despite it affecting their lives in a negative way. Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal to you the top six worst reasons to stay in your job, and how many of these do you tell yourself that prevents you from achieving your goals and dreams? You may delude yourself knowing that you can ride it out in your job for just one more year, but the reality is that one more year turns into 10 years, and then lo and behold, that's another segment of your life lost to time forever. You may feel anxious or maybe depressed at the sound of your alarm clock going off, knowing that you have to get up, get ready, and travel to your job, to trade in your time to work another eight plus hours for a salary that only makes you feel low. Or perhaps something just snaps and you find yourself in an argument with your boss and finally that pent up frustration comes out. Don't let this happen to you. Ask yourself this question. Am I truly happy doing my work and excited for what each day holds? Or am I just going through the motions becoming a slave to my salary? You need to decide whether you'll spend the next 12 precious months of your life doing exactly what you've always been doing or whether you'll try something new so that you can live your life and not merely exist. Number one, because it's secure. I hate or dislike my job, but I hang on to it because it's secure isn't logical. You're sacrificing happiness for a wage. And think about it, a job as your sole source of income is not secure. People say starting a business is risky, but having your lifetime earnings dictated by a faceless organization who can change your income and your life at a moment's notice is far riskier. Number two, because I already know how to do the job. Everybody feels more comfortable in an environment they know versus the one they don't. I don't like the job, but at least I'm used to it. Maybe one of the worst reasons possible to stay in a place that drains your life force away. Life is about learning, growing, and living, but more importantly, you deserve to be happy in your professional life. And remember, new skills and insights can always be gained, so don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone to try new things. Number three, because I'm too old to build a business now. Listen, you are never too old to change your careers or your life. The market does not care about your age and age itself is nothing but a mindset. Don't die before your time, never have had the chance to live. Think about Harlan Sanders, Robert Noyce or Carol Gardner. Did these successful people let age stop them? No, because they wanted to squeeze every drop out of life. Number four, because it's not that bad working here. This is just another term for I have given up. I have given up on searching for a life of meaning and purpose and living up to my potential. Everyone wants to improve their situation, but when they see an opportunity and see the effort they have to apply, they settle back to average in being dictated by a job. But again, sooner or later, one day it hits them that they deserve more. Number five, because I don't know what I would do instead of this job. The reason you may not know what to do next is because you have been in a job for so long, confined to its bars. How are you supposed to know what the world has to offer if you don't look beyond the walls that surround you? And number six, because of my kids and family. Let me ask you a question. Do we fall in love, get married and have kids to spend 40 plus hours a week away from them? You don't have to sacrifice time away from your family because of a job, especially a job that drains you to only return back to your family to only give them a quarter of you. Will your family remember the hours you worked for a job that would replace you within a week if you dropped dead? Or will it remember the holidays, the cherished moments and the laughs you made together? They want a healthy parent and husband or wife more than they need anything else. So what's your excuse? Are you going to live the same year 30 times and call it a life? Or are you going to start living the life you were born to live? Don't expect to see a change if you don't make one. Being in business isn't easy, but neither is waking up for a job for 40 plus years of your life that steals away time from the people you love the most. And one pays significantly better in time, money and passion. Look ahead 10 years from now and work backwards. Is every step you take moving you closer to the life you truly want? And remember, your greatest measure of success is always going to be the level of happiness that you live in. Not money, not cars, not things. Happiness. 
Now, if you're an ex or serving police officer and you're wanting more out of life, whether that is more time with the people you love the most, more income so that you are truly valued, or more passion in building a successful business, then click on the link below to attend our upcoming success quick start day so you too can break out, make the change, and live your life. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.